Alright, so today we are going to build some spoilers in pure CSS and JavaScript. So some hover spoiler right there and some click spoiler right there. Okay, and we do have a big spoiler here. Alright, so it's kind of easy, but it has some specific things to know. So let's cut it together. You can find the source code in the description and the starter files too. So if you want to code along with me or you can just create a folder and take a picture of whatever you want. All right, so let's get started right there. We can open it. Okay, so we just have an index HTML style and script uh, GS. All right, so we need some content first. So we can create a container right there, an h1 spoiler time, great, and a paragraph with lorem 50 for example and then you can do something really funky with vs code you can take something and press alt m span and it will wrap uh, your text around with span so you need to activate that keyboard keyboard shortcut so just press um, ctrl shift p right there and you can type open keyboard shortcuts and if you look for yeah wrap with wrap with abbreviation right there you can double click and add, and add your key binding okay so alt m is pretty good for this but you can just put whatever you want okay so it's very useful when you have to put some span or some um, a for example for some link it's really really useful all right so uh, we do want just one span right there and we will put the class hover spoiler great and then below we will add our image spoiler container and an image with a cat resources kitty.jpg jpeg okay great and then to finish below so we will create the javascript spoiler so we do need a big text lorem 2000s for example yes okay and there you can put just a lot of span okay so one span here one here one here for example uh-huh and at the end of it we'd want a big 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 spoiler for example just to see that it's it's working okay then you can uh, put a class on every opening um, tag or every um, on every span of span opening tag well whatever you just put gs spoiler there okay so on each opening tag so this one this one and the big one just there okay gs spoiler great now 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 we can open it so yeah it's already open right there so you just have to right click open with live server this is an extension right there that you need to install if you want to do it all right so it's kind of great but it's not looking like that uh, it's not looking uh, looking like that yet so we need to style it so head over to your CSS and we will start with the container max width of 900 pixel margin 0 auto to center that container and some padding to make the design breathe. Great, now the H1 will take a font weight of 900, font size of 60 pixel, and a margin bottom of 25 pixel. Okay, great. So uh, yeah, right there we do have a simple reset, which is very common, so box sizing border box, to take into account the padding and border into the calculation of the width and the height of the elements and margin and padding zero just to remove it from each element and a simple font fam right there all right so then for each paragraph we do want a font size of 25 pixel and a color of 111 great okay and now we can start with the first spoiler so text hover spoiler so the first one will take hover spoiler bg color 111 and it's already looking great but it's not perfect because if you uh, well first try to select it it will work 
if you put another color like for example orange you will see the text below so it's not working yet color transparency so we can't see the text below cursor pointer and user select none okay which is a property that um, um, prevent us from selecting the something okay so if I control C right there I will just uh, copy that things right there and not the text below okay I cannot just select it okay okay great and now when we hover our text so hover spoiler hover PG color will go to transparent color to 111 and the user select to auto, auto. All right, and it's just working great. Okay, so really easy, really nice. If you want a hover spoiler like that, it's it's very great. Like if you ask a question, uh, if you have a quiz or whatever, and you can just hide the, the response like that. Great, now the uh, blurred image hover just below will be really fun too. So blurred image spoiler. So if you, if you have something graphic or just an image that, that you want to, to hide. So image spoiler container. We just want to separate it from top and bottom. Okay, so we add some margin. Border radius 5 pixel. Cursor pointer. And overflow hidden and display inline block. So I will explain it, don't worry. But first... Uh, first, 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 we need to add the blur. So filter, blur, 15 pixel, just like that. So if we don't put overflow hidden, the blur effect will overflow a little bit, okay? It, it won't be really beautiful, it's, it's a bit strange. Uh, but if you put the overflow hidden on the container, it will just hide what's overflow right there, okay? so. It's just great. And if you don't put inline block, unfortunately, it won't work on the on the right side right there, okay? Because the, the container will take the full width because it's a block. So inline block right there, and then it's just working great, okay? So don't hesitate to adapt that kind of layout to your actual layout, but for that, it's, it's working great. Great, and now, so if you want to just display the image is quite simple actually so hover image filter blur zero pixel okay so you just remove the the, the filter actually okay great so it's, it's working great you can also add a text on it if you want to add just some text here like uh, be careful or whatever and with position absolute you will just uh, put it uh, in the middle of it and position absolute and a position relative on the image spoiler container okay so so yeah yeah and now to finish we need to create the gs the javascript um hover uh, no it, it won't be it won't be a hover it will be a click a clicked spoiler so gs click spoiler So in CSS, it will be actually exactly the same as the first one. So you can just copy it and paste it. And then we will create another class, which is called GS Spoiler Revealed, for example, or just Revealed Spoiler or whatever. And it will also be exactly the same. Okay, so you just take it. So now when we click on it, it's indeed not working. But if we add that class, so... Um, just copy it, right click, inspect, go into the dev tools, element panel, and you can just add it manually and it will reveal it. But indeed, our user won't use that kind of stuff. So we need to create a little script that is really easy to understand. So const gs spoiler document.query selector all gs spoiler, whoops, query selector all gs spoiler. So we select all of the gs spoiler and then for each for each spoiler I want to execute that callback function and I want to add an event listener to each spoiler. Which one? The click. So spoiler dot add event listener click and whenever I click on a 
spoiler, it will trigger the toggle spoiler function. I create that function right there, toggle spoiler. And it will just remove, uh, it will just add, sorry, <laughs> it will just add a class with the class list API, browser API, and the add method. And it will just add GS spoiler revealed. All right. So what is this here? This will refer to the calling object. Okay, the one who calls that function. And it will be spoiler right there. Okay. So basically, um, well, the, 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 the object that called add event listener. And so this is a reference to the, the, the spoiler every time. So basically we add a class right there to the calling object. So each spoiler. So it's working. Ah, it's not working. There must be an error. Um, mm -mm -mm. What's going on there? Script, script. Okay. So let me see if I click on it. Nothing happened. Yeah. I mean, it's working actually. Uh, GS spoiler. Oh yeah. There is a typo mistake right there. It's revealed. Okay. So it's working just great now. Okay. So yeah, oh, it's just working great. All right, so this is a pretty simple script. We just select all the spoilers. We put an add event listener on all the spoiler. And since the spoiler will call that function, uh, this will be a reference to that spoiler. And then we will just add uh, a simple class right there. All right, so I hope you've liked it and you understood me despite my accent, my thick accent. And well, see you in another video. Ciao.